Hi everyone, it's Liz here. So this is part two of the tutorial on the little passport size um, traveler's notebook with the pockets. Uh, I'm using the ephemera right now from the Calico Collage Kit um, because I'm thinking I'll be making some pockets. So I'm just cutting up some pieces that I'll probably be using as journaling cards, journaling tags, and or um, you know places that I'll be adding to make pockets maybe in the front or back covers. So as you can see, um, it's turning out pretty cute. Um, I can't wait to finish it up. Um, so I've cut up most of my ephemera pieces to figure out what I'm going to be using. Um, but I'm also going to show you now um, how the pockets get sealed up. So for, uh, and I've also kind of laid out the pages where I want them to be. So for the um, pockets, the first one that I did, it used staples. That was a tutorial that I followed. So I was using staples to seal the pockets, uh, but I found it a bit bulky. So I figured you could also use washi tape to seal the edges to make the pockets. But for this one, I'm just going to choose to use some glue and um, I'll probably just be sealing most of the pockets with glue so that, um, you know, it kind of holds it a little bit um, a little bit better. Um, I did find the staples, um, like I said, they were a bit bulky and it made the little um, traveler's notebook a little too thick on the edges. So hopefully this will kind of eliminate that problem a little bit. And then um, you'll see how quickly the pockets come about. Now I will also try and show how I can add pockets to the other side. And this is maybe at the end of the last tutorial. Um, if you guys want to see that, but this was sort of my second version um, of the first traveler's notebook, little um, passport size that I had made. So you can see that um, I'm just double checking where my pages are going to see where my pockets will be placed. And then one of the um, tags from the kit fits perfectly in the pockets. So this is how I'll be putting that together. Now I'm making, um, I decided that I was going to just do like tuck spots in the front and back covers and I'm using the little journaling cards from the kit as well. And as I mentioned before, I will be linking the kit below that I used and it's just really to show you how else you can use a digital kit. You don't necessarily have to make a junk journal with everything. Um, you can just come up with different little projects like I am doing here. So this will be my first little tuck spot in the front of the cover and then I'll be using this one for the back. So now I'm going to just show you how I've got my pages laid out and then I'll be doing a three hole pamphlet stitch to stick this together. So um, the way I like to do it, um, this one really I could have just done it with paper clips to hold all the pages together, but I like to have my cover with my pages ready um, in the cover before I stitch them up. I know some people like to do it the other way. They, um, they like to kind of stitch the cover separate from the pages, but um, this is the way I prefer to do it. So you could do this, like I said, with paper clips, holding everything together. And I do like to have my fold in the middle ready to go. Um, this way I find it easier to um, put the needle in and you know do, use the little um, awl to um, punch the holes. So now for the thread, I use this crochet thread, I believe, and I just do like three kind of links plus a little bit. Um, so three lengths of my, um, my book that I'm using or that I will be stitching together plus a little bit. And then I just thread my needle and then I'm just going to eyeball this one and just punch holes where I think they should go. Now I think this one, I could have done it a little bit higher than where I put it. Um, I don't know why I switched it um, last minute. So that's my center hole. And then I'm just going to poke a little hole at the top and then one at the bottom. And that makes it easy for my three hole pamphlet stitch. Again, these pages are not very thick, so it's a lot easier to punch the little holes and put everything through that way. So I'll be threading, um, you know, through the center hole first. And um, then I like to go back through the top hole. You can do either one. I'm sure you've seen the three hole pamphlet stitch before. I'm just going to quickly show you guys just in case some of you want to be reminded. Um, so I've gone through the top hole and then I'm just going to tug, tug a little bit on the string. Again, there's not that many pages in this one. So 
um, I'm not too too worried about missing the um, you know the tightness of the pages because I can always adjust those after I've um, put the thread through all the holes and so once they're through the middle I like to have a piece going across um, either side of the center string and then um, I'll just remove the clips before I make all my adjustments to make it a little bit tighter um, this is where I would pull the rest of the string through and um, remove my needle and now just making the adjustments to make the pages a little bit tighter so what I also find useful is if I go from the inside and just tug a little bit not so tight that you'll rip the string and then just make little adjustments like I'll, I'll show you here how I'm pulling a little bit more from the outside and this way it just gives me more of an idea how much give I still have left on the um, string and to tighten the pages as you can see here as well and then once I've adjusted the front and the back then I make my last little pulls and then I really don't have to um, again make it too tight because I've adjusted the string throughout and I'm just going to do my, um, my little knot and I like to knot it twice just to keep it safe now again you could add glue to the knot once you've done with it but for this one I, I'm not doing that you can see I've got a lot of string left at the bottom and that you could use to add you know if you wanted to add any kind of um, attachment to the strings um, but here I'm just going to do a little um, knot and call this one done so um, I stay tuned for the third part which is the you know how I'll be in, inserting the items in the pockets so I'm selecting what I'll be adding to it and then just do something for the cover.